Hello everyone, this is Andrew from Adamo Gaming, and in today's video I wanted to do a comparison between Far Cry 6's Boom Boom and Far Cry 5's Boomer. I'll be talking about their similarities and differences based on how they interact and perform in both games, but before that let me give you a summary of Boomer's story. There's been some speculation about whether Boomer is the same dog in Far Cry 6, so let's go back to the beginning where it all started. Kicking it off with Far Cry 5, this is where you'll first encounter Boomer in the Far Cry series. You'll be able to find him very early in the game depending on which region you choose to liberate first. You'll be located at Ray Ray's Pumpkin Farm in the top right of Holland Valley. It's Ray Ray at the Pumpkin Farm! Boomer's going crazy! I don't know what to do! When you get there, you'll see a sign with Boomer's face on it, and you'll hear some distant barking. As you get closer to the farmhouse, you'll see Boomer, but he's been locked in the cage attached to a truck. It turns out John Seed, the leader of the Holland Valley region, was planning to send Boomer to his brother Jacob the lead of the Whitetail Mountains region. Jacob was planning to put Boomer through a judge program. This is a process of brainwashing and mind controlling with the use of Bliss, a drug that's injected into animals and humans to improve their abilities. It seems that the cult recognized Boomer's strength and wanted to use him to fight against the resistance. Luckily, playing as the deputy, you're able to rescue Boomer before he's sent off to Jacob anyway, so he doesn't have to go through that horrible ordeal. Now when you free Boomer, you'll get a mission pop-up called a man's best friend where all you have to do is pet him. He'll head straight over to his owners who unfortunately killed just before I got here. I kinda gave him a few moments to mourn but once you pet him, he will now be recruited as a fang for hire and will fight alongside you until the end of the game. Now for those of you who've played Far Cry 5, you'll know there's two choices at the end of the game, walking away or resisting. If you walk away, you'll end up abandoning your brainwashed friends and killing your allies because of a specific song that was turned on by the sheriff, which activates your intent to kill. We're gonna get the National Guard and we're gonna bring the hammer down on that goddamn place. No, no way. I'm not gonna be a part of this. You heard what he said. You're gonna do exactly as you're told, Pratt. This leaves Joseph to continue his reign of terror, making everything you did in the game pointless. So technically, this is the non-canon ending, or the bad ending. The good ending, however, where you resist, ends up with Joseph nuking the whole of Hope County, which kills almost everyone in the process. This sounds worse than the other ending, but it's suggested to be the true ending for the game. So is Boomer actually dead? Well yes, but actually no. Far Cry New Dawn, the next installment to the Far Cry series, took place 17 years after the nuke in Hope County, and it uses the exact same map as Far Cry 5, except it showcases the aftermath of the nuke, with more open areas, rundown buildings, cars submerged in the ground, etc. And in the southwestern part of the map where the Fang Center was located, you'll come across a church, and under it there's a tunnel that leads to a gravestone with Boomer's name on it. So this gravestone proves one of two things, either Boomer died during the nuke, or he died of old age considering that dogs have a short lifespan. In Far Cry 6 however, you'll eventually come across a mission called Boom or Bust in the town of Ferroza, where you need to retrieve some American weapons from shipping containers. To the southwest of the area you'll hear some distant barking in one of the containers, which is isolated in a train yard of sorts. And when you open it, you'll find Boomer inside. <laughs> How did you get in here, boy? Anyway, there's a note which reveals that Herc helped ship Boomer to Yara. Now, if you don't know who Herc is, he's pretty much been in most Far Cry games from Far Cry 3 onwards as your explosive and bombastic friend. Literally. 
Whoa, deja voodoo, man. Have, have we have we met before? What a crazy guy. But anyway, he thought that Boomer would have a better life in Yara, which is why he shipped him over here. So in this case, Boomer is not dead. I think this is the same dog from Far Cry 5, as this is where the speculation began, with fans being split on whether it is him because of what happened in New Dawn. I mean, they both look exactly the same since not much time has passed between both games. Assuming that Far Cry 5 took place in 2018, Far Cry 6 would have happened three years after, given that the date is the 7th of October 2021 on Danny's ID that you see at the start of the game. Also, Ubisoft stated that Far Cry New Dawn was in fact a spin-off, which means it has no connection to the main series, so everything that happened in that game was fictional, or non-canon. This confirms that Boomer did survive the nuke in Far Cry 5, and is now fighting in Yara alongside Danny in Far Cry 6. Shout out to Herkman, he did us a favour here. But anyways, Danny, the character you play as in Far Cry 6, doesn't know Boomer's name, so you end up giving him a new one. Found a dog too. Dogs are useful in war. Long history there. Sergeant Stobby, Chips, Nemo. Does it have a name? No, not yet. What the fuck, Danny? It has no identity? Give it a name. Okay, how about uh, Boom Boom? Perfect. Train him to go straight for the cojones. I like my dogs like I like my wars. Violent, unpredictable, and with a lot of humping. Something tells me Boom Boom's got some fight in him already. And that is how Boomer, now known as Boom Boom, ended up in Far Cry 6. It's nice to see some easter egg references from previous Far Cries. Let's start with a comparison of Boomer's skills between both games. Taking a look at Boomer in Far Cry 5, he has a mix of abilities. From the roaster menu, you'll see he has two main ones, Pointer and Retriever. Pointer allows Boomer to tag nearby enemies, so you can think of him as a personal UAV or recon of sorts. It's very useful, especially in the early game where you don't need to use your binoculars to spot people. You can literally send in Boomer and he'll do all the work. Now as well as tagging humans, Boomer can also mark animals, which is insanely useful if you're trying to farm some skins to upgrade your character. The other skill, Retriever, will sometimes make Boomer fetch a weapon for you after attacking. Emphasis on sometimes because this rarely happens, so sorry, I don't have much footage to showcase this. But to trigger it, you have to give Boomer an order to attack an enemy, and on the other occasion, he'll bring a weapon back to you. I'd say it's quite helpful if it's your first playthrough since your weapons would be basic and you'd have a small ammo count. So Boomer's good when it comes to giving you a little more firepower. But because I'm on New Game Plus, I already have a better loadout and enough ammo to keep me going. So it wasn't necessary, to be honest. Appreciate it though, boy. Alongside these abilities, Boomer has some passive ones the game doesn't tell you about. When free roaming with Boomer, he'll start to growl and sniff the ground when enemies are nearby. This usually happens before he manages to tag them, but it's a good warning sign to let you know that a predator or cultist is approaching, so that you can better prepare yourself. Boomer will also loot bodies after a fight. Now if you stick around long enough, he'll approach dead enemies nearby and pick up some ammunition or money for you, which makes your looting experience a lot quicker with Boomer around. So how do these skills stack up against Boom Boom in Far Cry 6? Let's find out. Boom Boom's skills work slightly differently in Far Cry 6. He still has some old habits from Far Cry 5 alongside some new skills to make him a hybrid of sorts. There's four in total and they are Pointer, Expert Tracker, Thick Coat and Fetch Boy. Pointer, as you'd recognize from Far Cry 5, allows Boom Boom to mark enemy troops and animals so you can plan your attack accordingly. Again, a very useful skill, especially when you're trying to take over FND bases, which is the equivalent of outposts in this game. This is amplified by his next ability, Expert Tracker, a new skill that allows Boom Boom to mark targets that are further away. Now, I'll be honest, this is probably bugs for me or a load of BS. The pointer skill, whilst it does work, I haven't really seen the full effect of Expert Tracker. I feel like the range of spotting is a lot smaller for Boom Boom in Far Cry 6. I have to direct him a couple more times around the base for him to spot everyone. Whereas in Far Cry 5, I only have to send him into one area and he'll pretty much mark everything. It just feels like he has to be extremely close to enemies and animals for it to work. And on some occasions, it looks like there's a delay with the pointer ability. But who knows? Maybe they nerfed him in that respect, but the pointer ability is definitely worse in Far Cry 6. However, this can be compensated for his third ability, Thick Fur, which is where the hybrid aspect comes in. 
This skill makes Boom Boom withstand more damage against enemies, so he's a little more tanky and in the event you get spotted he can hold his own against a group of enemies if the alarm is called. I've seen him take multiple shotgun blasts and still fighting whilst on fire or poisoned which shows that he's way more durable than Far Cry 5's Boomer. And because of this ability you don't really need to call in stronger amigos like Wapa or Chicharon when things go left. His last skill, Fetch Boy which was in Far Cry 5 allows Boom Boom to retrieve resources from dead enemies. Although a very useful skill to speed up the looting process, I will say I've had some issues like many other players and with a quick reddit search it seems like this skill only works under certain conditions. Sorry guys, I know that's irrelevant but I had to include that last one, that was funny. <laughs> Anyway, what I mean by certain conditions is that Boom Boom's looting tendencies depend on the type of weapon you are using, how much ammo you have left, and if the enemy corpse in question is flashing before he can loot it. Yes, not all enemies carry retrievable resources in Far Cry 6. It's quite rare, so you have to keep an eye out for flashing corpses. You'll often find some Yaren pesos or ammunition for you depending on the weapon you're using, like a bow or an SMG. I tested this with a compound bow and I can confirm that Boom Boom will loot bodies if your ammo is partially empty or if the corpse has a flashing animation. Hence why I said it's conditional, because in Far Cry 5, all the enemies had something on them and it didn't matter what your ammo count was, Boom would loot every corpse regardless and you'd always get something out of it, like money for example. But all in all, I think this justifies that Far Cry 5's Boomer is definitely the superior dog when it comes to looting. Now that we've compared their skills, how do they fare in combat? Well. Far Cry 5's Boomer is definitely better for small engagements, or stealth if you need help clearing some enemies. As he's a dog, an Australian cattle dog to be exact, enemies won't react to him unless he attacks first, so he's hiding in plain sight which is pretty cool. When going up against animals, he can easily overpower wolves, dogs and cougars too. When it comes to bears however, yeah, no chance bro. Other than that, he's quite fragile in large engagements, so it doesn't take many bullets for him to go down, so it's best to keep him away from chaotic situations. Or you'll just have to stay near him so all the attention is on you. That way, he won't go down as easily and he can help you clear some enemies. As for Boom Boom in Far Cry 6, he's definitely a lot tougher. He's obviously got the skills to remain stealthy and can help dispatch some enemies for you. Going up against animals, he can easily take on most predators like cougars, and with crocodiles he's pretty brave as he'll stand his ground against them and give chase to scare them off. However he reaches his limit when going up against a pack of wolves. Now this may be because he was outnumbered here or the fact that these were named enemies, even in one on one engagements he still runs away, which is interesting given the fact that he wasn't afraid to fight wolves in Far Cry 5. Regardless the thick fur coat ability I mentioned before makes him a bit of a brawler so he can definitely take much more damage before he goes down compared to Far Cry 5's boomer. And because of that you don't have to stick by him 24-7, you can go and fight elsewhere as he takes on enemies in another location in my opinion. So with all this in mind, who's the better dog? I'm gonna have to give it to Far Cry 6's Boom Boom on this one. If it wasn't for his thick fur ability and his really bad spotting range in Far Cry 6, Far Cry 5's Boomer would have won easily. But because Boom Boom is now a bit of a hybrid, he can perform stealthily and take on groups of enemies with his thick fur, He's a great companion to have for multiple situations given how crazy the Far Cry games are. So what better amigo to choose than Boom Boom, am I right? Now you're cool too, Chorito. We ain't sleeping on this dude right here. I will now close off the video with a comparison of how Boomer and Boom Boom interact around me. So the first most notable difference is that Boom Boom can now get in a vehicle with you which makes spotting a lot more effective in Far Cry 6. This wasn't possible in Far Cry 5 which made it a little bit tedious and annoying with having to call Boomer in every time you got to a location. Or having him follow you. And although he can keep up with slower vehicles, he easily gets run over, resulting in a 10 minute cooldown before you can call him back. I'm just glad they listened to fans on this one and made it possible. Unfortunately though, you still can't play fetch with him. It's understandable in Far Cry 5 since you can only throw rocks, but Far Cry 6 gives you baseballs, so I'm shocked that this isn't possible. He just looks at it, then looks back at you as if you're stupid. Maybe we'll get this in a future update, but who knows. He'll also do some dog things whilst your character is idle. I'll include some examples here, but Far Cry implemented a lot of dog-like behaviours, from rolling over, cleaning himself, to... <laughs> to catching flies, doing stretches, and even chasing his tail. Some of these behaviours were replicated in Far Cry 6, with some additional new ones, like being able to ask for his paw, and watching him play in the water. 
This I found to be the most interesting because he doesn't respond to water in Far Cry 5. Maybe Herc was right and this is the new life Boom Boom needed. He seems happier here. Anyways, I'm just speculating, but yeah. That's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed this comparison and that it gave you some perspective of how Boomers change between Far Cry 5 and 6. At least I think I've covered most things about it. Who do you prefer? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more from our community. It's been Andrew from Adamo Gaming, take care and see you next time.